In this video, I'm going to share with you the beginner's guide to affiliate marketing that actually works in 2022. Things change. The internet changes, social media changes, how things work, they change. And it's not that you have to completely change your methods and strategies every single month or year to be making money with affiliate marketing, but you do need to tweak them. And by doing this, you can build up passive income streams. This means that the work that you do once will pay you month after month and for years to come. And that's exactly what happened for me. I built up enough passive income streams that I was able to take a year long break from my business and focus on other business ventures and investments. And I was able to focus on my personal life, travel, and all in all, just be able to confidently take a break. And you might wanna take a break sometime. You might have a big life change coming up or just be limited with your time in general. Affiliate marketing is one of the most time effective ways to make money. So if you wanna learn from someone that has literally made over $1 million with affiliate marketing in the past five years, and over a million from other types of online marketing businesses, then be sure to watch this entire video till the end. My name is Rachel Esley, and if you wanna see more content like this, be sure to like this video and subscribe to the channel so the YouTube algorithm will show you more content like this. So like I said, I was able to take a year long break and the passive income kept rolling in. And all of the other money that I earned and saved, I was able to invest in crypto, NFTs, stocks, and other businesses and investments. Therefore, I was able to multiply what I already earned. But that's a story for another video. Let's get in what you need to do to get started. So the very first thing that you need is a niche. You need to have a topic, a focus area of what your affiliate marketing business is going to be about. I would highly recommend to have your niche be something that you enjoy. You don't need to niche down so far that you don't have any room for variety when it comes to your business, but you also don't want to be too broad. Let's start with broad at the top. The most broad profitable niches are health, wealth, and relationships. These are proven niches that people make a lot of money with because people are always investing in their health, their wealth, and in their relationships. You don't have to pick one of those main niches because you could be an affiliate for mattresses or for sponges. But if you wanna make things easy for yourself, I would pick something between health, wealth, and relationships. The next is that you wanna pick your sub niches. The next thing you wanna figure out is your sub niche. This is your more focused area of expertise that your content's gonna be about and that your offers are gonna be about. So let's say for health, a sub niche of that would be weight loss or it could be fitness, it could be healthy cooking, it can be yoga. For wealth, a sub niche could be saving money, it could be making money, it could be investments, it could be credit and credit cards. And for relationships, it could be romance, could be marriage, improving an already existing marriage. It could be about dating. It can also be about family relationships, step parenting, raising teenagers. Whatever sub niche you pick, you don't have to already be an expert in, but just pick something that you're interested in. And after you figure out your sub niche, then we can break it down even further and come up with pillars. So let's say that your niche is wealth and your sub niche is credit and credit cards then your pillars could be credit card points, improving your credit, credit repair, and how to travel for free using credit card points. You don't have to limit it to just four pillars. You can come up with a list of 20 pillars and start experimenting with your content and see what does best. In my affiliate marketing business, my main niche is wealth, my sub niche is make money online, and then my pillars are affiliate marketing, getting the best rewards points with credit cards, and investment apps such as stock investment apps and crypto investment apps. I chose these pillars because they are what interests me the most, they excite me, I get excited to create content about it, and it's very important that you are excited to create content about whatever that you are promoting as an affiliate. So this brings us into the next thing that you're gonna need and that is the offers. With affiliate marketing, you make a cut of the sale. You don't create the offer or the product. Another company is providing the offer, but you make a percentage off of the sale. So things that I'm currently promoting and have promoted in the past are online courses, softwares, sometimes in-person events or virtual events, investing apps, and credit cards. With whatever offers you pick, some of them are gonna pay you just one time and some are gonna pay you recurring. So this is a reason that I like softwares is because you can make recurring commissions every single month. And then with your one-time or recurring commissions, there's gonna be different price points. 
Some are gonna be lower commissions, some will be medium, and some will be high ticket commissions. When I promote the investing apps like Robinhood or Webull or Coinbase, my commissions are anywhere from 10 to $20 a sign up, but this can add up if you are getting volume to the offer. With credit cards, I'm making about $100 per sign up. With softwares, I earn anywhere from $10 every single month for one person signed up, all the way to $120 a month per person signed up. And then with courses, it depends on the price point, but I've made commissions up to $1,000, even $5,000 for someone signing up for someone else's course. Not just course, but also coaching programs and masterminds. There are so many places that you can find affiliate marketing offers. So what I recommend to do is a Google search search affiliate marketing offer for, and then whatever your niche is or whatever your sub niche is or whatever your pillars are. I also make sure to promote offers that I already personally use or programs and softwares and offers that I have used in the past and through networking with my friends and colleagues, I've gotten private offers, higher commissions and insider access to promote offers that other people aren't able to promote. But those special offers will come in time. So for now, pick offers that are easy for you to talk about, easy for you to sign up for. You don't need a bunch of offers. You could start with just one. So the third thing that you're gonna need is traffic to your offers. I like to break down traffic traffic in four ways. There's traffic that comes from someone searching online for information about something. And then there's traffic that people see just from scrolling on social media. And then we can break it down even further, organic versus paid. I don't call it free versus paid because although organic traffic can be free, you can also invest in organic traffic. So it technically wouldn't be free, but it could still be free for you. So there's organic search traffic and organic social media traffic. And then there's paid search traffic and paid social media traffic. You might've heard people say that organic takes way too long and paid traffic is going to get you results much faster, but that is not true, especially in 2022. You can get traffic fast with organic methods, especially with organic social media in 2022. And just because you're paying for traffic does not mean that the traffic can convert. You can waste a lot of time and a lot of money trying to get paid traffic, especially if you're a beginner. It's not that paid traffic won't work for you or that you can't learn it, but if you're starting your business from scratch and you're a beginner, I'm just assuming that you don't wanna make that much of an upfront investment. So this is why I do like to recommend starting with organic free traffic first. Now, if you do organic search traffic, that is typically blogging. So if someone searches on Google or Bing or Yahoo in the search results, your website would pop up, your blog post, your article, but that does take a long time. So it's not that it's not worth it, but typically, ranking on the first page of Google with the blog is going to take a while and there is a learning curve when it comes to setting up a WordPress site and doing search engine optimized SEO blogging. What is a faster organic search method is using YouTube. When someone searches for something on Google, some YouTube videos also show up at the top of the page and people are searching for information and reviews all the time in YouTube. And YouTube videos can rank much faster than a blog post. Now let's talk about organic social media traffic. I'm going to focus on Facebook, Instagram, TikTok, and YouTube. With Facebook, you can build up an audience with your friend page and with Facebook groups. And when you post, people will see that post same day. So you can get a lot of traffic with Facebook and build up personal connections using Facebook Messenger. I'm not gonna go into super details in this video about Facebook affiliate marketing. We'll save that in another video. What you post on Facebook can also be used for Instagram and similar with Instagram. You can follow people, get followers, build connections in the comments and in the DMs through your content, through written content, through photos, through videos, same as with Facebook. With TikTok, this is where you can get lots of traffic with short videos anywhere from seven seconds to 60 seconds. What's really cool about TikTok is you can go viral super fast and your TikTok videos, you can also put those short videos on Instagram Reels and on Facebook Reels and on YouTube Shorts. You can batch create a bunch of TikTok content for the whole week or the whole month in one sitting. And then for YouTube, when it comes to organic social media, people are also just scrolling on YouTube, just browsing so your video can show, not just your YouTube short video, but also your full length YouTube videos that can be anywhere from 
seven minutes, 30 minutes, whatever you want it to be. These are the methods that I personally like to focus on and I would highly recommend for a beginner. If you try to do all the organic search methods and all the organic social media methods and all the paid search methods and all the paid social media methods, you are totally going to get overwhelmed. This is why I recommend focusing on the full length YouTube videos and then the short videos. And this doesn't mean that you always have to show your face in the videos. Make sure you're subscribed to the channel because I'm going to be releasing how to make money with the faceless videos in an upcoming video. Now let's talk about paid search. This is typically Google ads, but it can also be YouTube ads. This can be super profitable, super scalable, but if you don't have money to invest and test with, then you can't start with this. And I do not recommend going into debt over trying this out. I really recommend making money with the organic methods first and then reinvesting your profits into experimenting with the paid traffic methods. So unless you already have experience with paid traffic or a bunch of money set aside to experiment with it, I would put a pin in paid search traffic until you're more experienced. And then same with paid social media. It's really important to already have a winning organic social media post, organic YouTube video or organic TikTok short video. And if it's doing really good and goes viral, then you may consider putting ad money behind it to get even more reach and more traffic. So all you really need to start making money with affiliate marketing is a niche and offer and a traffic source and content creation, especially video creation is my number one recommended traffic source for beginners. But if you really want to step up making money with affiliate marketing, the next thing that you can add to your business is email marketing, building up an email list, sending out email broadcasts, setting up email automations. Email marketing is going to multiply your affiliate commissions. I personally use ConvertKit and have been using ConvertKit for the past five years. What I like about ConvertKit is that it's super easy to use and it comes with landing page templates. Landing page templates are used to collect email. So you can give something away for free, such as a free guide or a free training in exchange for someone's email, and then you can be emailing them for years to come. ConvertKit is free if you have under a thousand subs, but to start using email marketing, you do need to have a custom email address, which means that you need to buy a domain, but you can buy a domain online for like $10 for the first year. And to set up the custom email address, you can use Google Workspace, which is like $6 a month. But you don't need to do this right away. You don't need your own domain right away. You can just use raw affiliate links when promoting your offers, but eventually you will wanna capture emails and build up the email list. A really great example of keeping your funnels and your system simple is the landing page that I have up right now, rachelslee.com slash free training. So yes, I pay every year to have my domain, Rachel S. Lee. Yes, I do pay for ConvertKit because I have over a thousand subscribers, but I'm using the ConvertKit built-in template landing page. You go in, you put your name and your email, and on the next page, you can watch a webinar, a free training from one of my top affiliate mentors, Spencer Meekum. And there's a code at the top of the URL that tracks you to me, it's a cookie code. So later, if you buy his offers, then I'll make a commission from it. I didn't have to create his offers or his course. I didn't create his free training. All I did was make a super simple landing page, set up a forwarding domain, set up some email automations, and I just simply drive traffic to it by creating content about affiliate marketing. So if people wanna learn more about affiliate marketing, they can watch the free training, and then if they wanna learn even more and learn everything that I know, they could take his course, the same course that I took. There's a link to it in the description box below if you wanna check it out. Also, there's a link, rachelslee.com slash convertkit, which is my affiliate link to convertkit. There you can get free access to convertkit, and once you get to over a thousand subscribers and start paying the low monthly amount, then I'll start making the commissions. I do really recommend keeping your expenses low. You don't need fancy funnel software. You don't need a video editor. You don't need to pay someone else to make your thumbnails. I make my thumbnails in Canva. I do have someone help me for video edits for my videos now that I'm already making money with affiliate marketing, but when you're first getting started, just turn on your camera. You don't need a fancy camera. You could just turn on your webcam 
in your computer or use your phone. You don't need your own domain or email marketing to get started with affiliate marketing. For editing my short videos, I like to use veed.io and I just use the free version and then use another free software to remove the watermark. There are so many free trainings on YouTube. You can learn so much on YouTube. If you wanna learn faster and have everything all curated for you step-by-step, step, then you could invest in a course, but make sure to keep doing what you're doing right now and watch free trainings. And finally, the last thing that you have to do to succeed with affiliate marketing is actually do it. Actually set aside the time, take out your camera, set aside the time, go on the computer, search for the offers, put your content up, you gotta get started, you gotta make time for it. It doesn't mean that you have to work on this eight hours a day, I definitely don't. Doesn't mean that you have to work on it every day, but set aside a few hours, even just a few hours a week to really focus. Some stuff you only have to do once. You only have to grab your affiliate link once. You only have to pick a niche once. The only recurring thing that you'll be doing is creating new content, but you can batch create your content. And this video is one of my more longer detailed videos, but most of my videos are only eight minutes. So if you could set aside three hours and film five short videos, work on an outline, maybe you'll even have some time to do some easy editing yourself, just some simple jump cuts and get it uploaded on YouTube, get your short videos uploaded on TikTok, on Instagram Reels. If you don't know what to create content about, just search and see what your colleagues and competitors are making content about. There are endless content ideas. Just model what's working for other people, but make it your own. And it's really as simple as that. But again, if you want a more in-depth training, be sure to watch my mentors training at rachelesley.com slash free training. I wanna thank you so much for watching this video. Be sure to subscribe to the channel. We got a bunch more affiliate marketing videos coming your way. Let me know in the comments what your niche is and I'll see you in the next video.